fuck to remember the this song. Fuck. The swag is on a thousand. It's actually just shit on my last chick, and she has got my ex lax. <laughs> I'm just here for the smoke, bro. I'm here for the trolling, dog. It's, this video says uh, 50 Cent reveals how he caught Diddy with another man. <laughs> this shit about to be crazy. I already know. Let's go. This shit about to be crazy. I'm already knowing. Let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to Thank you. you. Thank you. This is a special birthday for both of us. Yeah. Um, what in the golden shower is going on, y'all? <laughs> this is a special birthday for both of us. You Facts. know, these are the that, things hey, that, that make was, people... That was a fucking pause moment if I ever heard one before, bro. That shit was gay as hell. This is a happy moment for both... <laughs> This is a happy moment for both of us, bro. Hey, if I ever heard one of my homies say that shit to me, dog, I'm like, what the fuck? What are you on, bro? What are you on, dog? Gay? <laughs> well, we've heard rumors, dog. I don't know. I don't know if y'all heard rumors. I've definitely heard a bunch of goddamn rumors about, you know, all that demonic weird shit that the industry been doing. And I know I've heard plenty of stories about Diddy goddamn that <laughs> well, here we go 50 dollars get it and have a field day with p diddy and at this point i don't even blame him but what exactly has 50 been spilling about diddy being on the dl so if there's one person who's always talking about how diddy is on the dl you know what 50 gonna say to you when he sees what i heard diddy touched your butt <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> what the hell? oh no i don't know that that was going on you know i can't wait to run into him again see, what you gonna say to him Puffy was playing with your booty in my ass <laughs> It's 50. But the drama that. between him and Diddy actually goes all the way back to 1999 when 50 threw shade at P. Diddy in the song How to Rob. Like, he straight up threw said that he would steal though. Diddy's wife, Kim Porter, from him. The beef was also evident when Diddy was facing allegations for being involved in the death of Biggie Smalls. 50 actually suggested that Diddy knew exactly what happened when he said in the song Hip Hop, who shot Biggie Smalls? If we don't get them, they're gonna kill saw man puffy know who hit that man he scared them boys from the west side gonna break him off mm. and when it comes to diddy being on the dl 50 has been at it for years for instance 50 cent previously suggested that diddy is on the dl when he posted a photo of diddy and rick ross performing on stage the problem with this photo was that it was taken at such an angle that it made it look like they were making out yeah. he also posted a shot of diddy in a pink shirt while embracing a former record exec also in pink yeah, he, he looking real Real zesty right there. They look real sweet right there. <laughs> Out of Diddy in a pink shirt while embracing a former oh, record exec also in pink and wrote in the caption, I ain't saying nothing, but <laughs> something ain't right. LMAO. Let's just say that other than the people 50 talked about, he also has had a personal experience with Diddy when he told him that he wanted to take him shopping. And best believe 50 was having none of that. And he straight up called Diddy a fruit pop. <laughs> Style. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like, we can just hang out. We gotta, we gotta oh, kick that. it. This is Paul. Okay. He's telling me we gotta kick it. And he was like, right. yo, why don't we, like, go shopping? You see, I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, what the fuck this just sound <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro. 50 is the king troll of them all, dog. We, like, go shopping. You see, I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, what the this <laughs> just sound <laughs> I'm dead. And this is uh, this is it goes off. But this is a little fruit but probably a fruit pile. <laughs> well. Diddy later addressed 50's fruity comments about him on the breakfast show and him wanting to take 50 shopping at Chris Lighty's wedding, saying, Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm a nice guy. Yo, what? I mean, why are no, you that's a gay. Hey, yo, that's gay as hell, bro. Hey, yo, I don't have no beef. Nah, wait, dog. Wait, wait, nah, wait, nah wait, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. 50 had money. What the fuck he need you to buy him from damn clothes for, bro? But there ain't no reason no grown ass man gonna fucking be sitting trying to take another grown ass man shopping, dog. Come on, bro. You gonna make me drop my shit. Come on, dog. Come on, bro. <laughs> you see? Hey, 50 had it right. He said, Diddy a fruit pop. Hey yo, why y'all got? Hey yo, I don't have no beef. Yeah, you with, do. With, 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 I don't know why. With, with Fifth, he loves me. 
Mm-hmm. He loves me. Do y'all, y'all really can't have see a beef? It? I mean, y'all can't see no, it. No, we can't y'all see can't it. Y'all can't see that he loves me. Y'all, but see, you really, hold on, you really think that's hate? You really, when you really break it down, you've been out here a long time. I don't know, you know some subliminal shit going on right there, dog. What you trying to come? What you trying to? Uh, what you trying to insinuate, there, uh, Diddy? Come on, dog. Come on, bro. You really think that's hate? <laughs> you really, when you really break it down, you've been out here a long time. You know he loves me. I personally don't see how Fifty loves you, Diddy, because he literally said himself that he doesn't rock with you. So you and you and Diddy, you and Puff Cool? No, I don't. I don't really oh, rock okay, me. damn. All right. Fifty was actually once confronted on the Breakfast Show about constantly saying that Diddy is on the DL, and you know what? He didn't even deny it. Let me read okay, it, Fifth. Oh my God. Sorry, I can no longer Shades help you guys. Soon you will all be gay and happy. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow. Then the thieves. Okay. 50 and Diddy have had their differences, but you and I both know that 50 Cent is not the only person who has made that allegation that Diddy is on the DL, right? For starters, Jaguar Wright once gave a story about a lawyer who walked in on Diddy and Christopher Williams doing you know what. When she walked in, the door wasn't locked, so she didn't think twice about just walking in. And when she walked in, she saw uh, Christopher Williams performing fellatio on Puff. Now... From what she said to me, there you um, have it, it was disturbing because there you have it. You know they didn't stop. <laughs> also, when <laughs> hey, I know it's just words, hey, but she be coming with some shit. She be coming with some shit. Dog. <laughs> I didn't hear that again. Now, bro. from what she said to me, um, they it was disturbing stop. because they didn't stop. You know. They didn't stop. <laughs> also, didn't when Diddy released his song, Gotta Move On, seemingly about the need to move on from his on-again, off-again relationship with Cassie Ventura, her boo, Alex Fine, snubbed Diddy when he shared an Instagram post wishing all of his LGBTQ plus friends a happy pride. Then he included in the post, attached is a charity that helps people who are in the closet you and gotta, gotta move on. Ooh, Alo- bow, 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 bow. Hey, hey, did he gay? Along <laughs> with other resources, and Orla- which is fine. You can be, you can be it, bro. You can be it. Live, live your best life, here, dog. But I mean, there's no point in the year 2023 that anyone who is a homosexual needs to feel the need to be in the closet, right? Especially you, Diddy. It may do. It may be better for your career at this point. Everybody already fucking know, dog. Everybody got them know, bro. You would make so much bread, so much more bread than you already got, dog. If that's you, bro, own it, dog. Own it, bro. <laughs> own it. <laughs> and O'Brown, that guy literally said that he loved what Diddy did to him. I got in my Diddy mode. I'm sorry. I start licking my lip. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yo, Diddy, you gave me the Ooshkosh Goosh You gave me the Ooshkosh Mwaf. The Shoosh all right i'm done i'm done i'm done bro this shit is gold this shit is fucking gold dog i'm done i'm done hey orlando brown said diddy gave him that gawk gawk 3000 <laughs> oh shit oh i wasn't prepared i wasn't prepared for this shit today dog what the fuck is going on to him. <laughs> I got in my Diddy mode. I'm sorry. I start licking my lip. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yo, Diddy, you gave me the Ooshkosh Goose Wash. You gave me the Ooshkosh Mwaf. The Shoosh Wash. Diddy. Yeah, son. I mean, you gave me the Ooshkosh Mwash. Ooshkosh, yo. I love it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Diddy also apparently treated Exhibit to a night he will never, ever he forget. And while I'm talking about it, Exhibit was like... And then, uh, you know, he he's dealing his business. We go down and get a drink. You know, we sitting there popping to the music. And then she say, she point over the corner. It's two dudes kissing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. Then it's girls in the club, too. And then she point another direction. It's another dude over there like, what? There have <laughs> also been pretty wild allegations about Diddy. Well, and what other- did that have to do with Diddy, though? I just heard dudes naked and dudes kissing. I didn't hear, I didn't hear Diddy named in that one. There have also been pretty wild allegations about Diddy and Usher over the years. My brother right here from day one, we used to wake up and 
I mean, damn, pause, but like, just that. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to it fight It ain't get no him. better, big dog. Who is that? Is that Kevin? Who is that? Back in the days when he is was like Is that Kevin? Like <laughs> Bruh, you better watch your words, dog. You out here? You out here old pedophile with Usher Raymond, too? <laughs> Diddy and Usher over the year. My brother right here from day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying? And when it comes to Diddy and Usher, Kim Porter's former stylist sort of backed up the rumors that have been making rounds for years saying that Diddy slept with different men on multiple occasions. And the stylist also said that Usher's mom confronted Diddy about allegedly being intimate with Usher after she had found out what was going on. She actually claimed that Kim Porter was in possession of a video of everything that went down before she died. Okay, I won't go deep into that, but Usher did say that he saw things that he probably wasn't supposed to see at a young age when he was still under Diddy's wing. Yes, I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13 what were you I seeing I went there to see the lifestyle right and, and I saw it and it was and it was but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at it was it was pretty wild someone else who did a lot of tea spilling when it comes to Diddy is his ex bodyguard Gene Deal oh they got the juice <laughs> they got all the they got all the damn tea bro he also saw a lot of weird things when he worked for Diddy like one time when Diddy and a famous rapper he didn't mention ran out of a hotel room naked while he was watching the door and he said yo gene watch the door don't let nobody come through here and i said i watched the door if i watched the door and him and a man ran out naked and i said that I ain't nobody told me that i saw that myself <laughs> gene also said that while they were at the supermarket before they went to that hotel diddy had picked up b plugs from the shelves and he gave the cashier a stack of cash and just walked out of the supermarket with the toys that were obviously used later on if you know what i mean and i know you <laughs> hey, oh bro. and there's this also video was so fucking fire bro ah <laughs> oh, this shit this shit should just say diddy is gay as hell <laughs> This ain't just 50 revealing that Diddy got caught with everybody. Hey, the whole way industry out here revealing that Diddy likes to, he likes his men, bro. Fabulous, hella uncomfortable when he called him daddy. Yeah, I like when you like this, daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my daddy, yeah, I like when you, oh, when you right scrambling here, right and here. scraping no, for no, no, shit. No, 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 I, got I no like that. Shit. And just when I thought I'd heard it all when it comes to all the allegations about Diddy being on the DL, Kefi D also came up with another shocking allegation. It seemed like Puff and Tupac was like a couple, seemed like to me. Uh, it was just a lot of weird shit going on, you know what I'm saying? I know it's a lot to take in, Facts. but anyway, for his part, Diddy has never admitted to anything, but in the official video for the song Hope, at the part where two men embrace, he sort of dropped a hint when he rapped the lyrics. Listen, I'm just dropped a hint when he rapped the lyrics. Yeah, G, I don't sometimes, yeah, G, I don't. Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid to be loved the way like I really want to be loved, but that I know how I really want to be loved. Eric's. <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying that hey. as long as these things keep coming up, 50 is going to keep having a field day with Diddy. <laughs> and I'm telling you, one day he's going to pull up and actually peep him with somebody if he hasn't already. But I'd love to know your thoughts. Hey, bro, um, dude, channel is this culture spill. That, that was fire. That was well, very well put together, man. You convinced me. I already heard stories and shit, too, though. Like, yeah, I'm sure y'all have, bro. But this was perfect. This was perfect. Diddy definitely is undercover homosexual, which is fine, dog. Just, just, hey, come out, dog. Come out, bro. Let everybody know. Everybody, all right. Nobody going to be surprised. <laughs> Nobody going to be surprised.